G'day, it's Aiden at Springer Solar. Today we're on the south side of Brisbane and we're having a look at a SIG Energy side and store installation. This site's got 30 kilowatts of solar, 20 kilowatt inverter, large battery stack and a DC charger. We explored so many options over about 18 months, just really trying to hone in on what was gonna serve this customer's current and future needs. We looked at DC systems, we looked at MLPE, we looked at other AC coupled systems and really found when it came down to flexibility, the customers want to add a few EVs into his personal fleet, that this was gonna be the system that was gonna give him the best outcome moving forward. We've got 30 kilowatts of Canadian solar 465 watt end types. They are a Kraken panel. We've got 20 kilowatt hybrid inverter, 32 kilowatt hours of storage here, four times eight kilowatt hour batteries. The SIG Energy three phase backup gateway. We've got an inbuilt bypass or backup switch. So if there's ever issues with this, the customer just come out, flick this switch and his house will have power just as normal coming off the grid. We've got multiple inputs for multiple inverters. So if we wanna add one or two more inverters in the future, we've got the ability to do that. There's some really smart things that can happen here between the smart port and just the functionality of this unit. So you just quickly wanna show you how fast the backup is here. Just listen for this click. I'm gonna turn the power off now. Yeah, that fast. Now, a real exciting thing here is a bi-directional 25 kilowatt DC charger. This thing rips. Some of the functionality of this DC bi-directional charger is that it's DC coupled. We can take energy directly from our panels on the roof, straight through, and then into our car. We've got a 25 kilowatt charging rate, which can be throttled depending on whether you want that to come directly from solar, whether you want a mix of solar and battery, or if you want to pull at a high rate from the grid too to make sure you get a fast charge. One of the other main features of the system being bi-directional is in the future here in Australia, you're gonna see cars coming onto the market where you can come in at night, you can plug the car in and you can use some of the battery that's within the car to supplement the energy usage from your battery system into the house. No other manufacturer has managed to bring one of these to market yet and nobody else has an integrated one where it sits seamlessly between inverter and battery stack and fully integrates with the system. This is gonna give this customer a really high charge rate, ability to come home at lunchtime, put half of the capacity of his battery back into his car and then go back to work. We found that our install teams are really enjoying the experience of installing this product. The fact that a lot of it clips together and then they can ask an AI assistant how the best way to set up this product is gonna be they're finding that a lot of the challenges they have with other systems are just not present here. We're really happy with this system. It's really cool. Let's go and have a look at some data now. So frankly, this system's doing really well. It's been installed since about February. We're probably four months into our use case for this system. Here we can see on our desktop, we get a really good overlay of the system. We can see right now at 20 past seven in the morning on an overcast day that we're getting nearly two kilowatts of solar. All of that is currently going to the house, but he's also pulling nothing from the grid. We're getting a really good overview of the system itself. We can see what the battery state of charge is at a glance. We scroll down through here, we can see that we can get daily, weekly, through the lifetime data, and you can really dig into different portions with these sliders. You can get really detailed or fairly wide band of data. This is data from the end of April. Still getting nearly 120 kilowatt hours out of this system on a north and a south roof. He's getting really good self-consumption here. He's using a very small amount from the grid. Keep in mind that he's charging two EVs, so that can be pretty normal. He is still sending out a fair bit to the grid. That is a part of his integration with a third party control. This system is fully API controlled. They are swaying how the house is exporting solar energy, 
how it's exporting battery energy, how it's importing some energy into the cars, having a full suite of wholesale trading built into the system. Customers get really good control over how they interact with that. You can tell it, I don't want to trade you any energy today. We've got a Christmas party, all of our families here, we want to run the air cons. See a lot more discharge on this site from battery, but again, a lot of that is going out to grid in a wholesale period where customers monetizing this to try and increase his ROI. 32 kilowatt hours of battery storage has proven to be pretty great here. But again, with that model that the customer is using, there's always the thought in the back of his mind, how do I add more storage here? He can add another eight kilowatt module to this. However, in Queensland, he's got the ability to add in another inverter and then add more batteries to that as well. Let's have a look at the DC charger. We're going to move to the phone for that. So within the app, we've clicked onto the DC charger on the side of the house to get an overview of what the charger is able to do. Once you plug it into your car, you can press start. It'll start to deliver energy. Then we've got a couple of options here. We're going to go to energy delivery so we can have a look at this system. Right now, this customer hasn't charged a car this week. He's either not driving a lot or he's got enough charge within the cars to continue. There's two EVs on this site, two different people driving them. They may have different distances. One may be a drive to work and back. The other one might be, I drop the kids off, do the shopping. Doesn't look like there was a road trip this weekend. If we come back into weekly data, we can see that over here, we've delivered 50 kilowatt hours into the car in a single charge. And we can go back through, click on the month and have a look down to the days. But if you click on any of these within a month, it'll give you an overall snapshot of how much energy was put into the car in that time period. The main thing most end customers are gonna be interested in is the charging modes how you prioritize the solar versus battery charging. Down here, you can simply move these bits around and tell it, do you want the battery to charge or the EV to charge? Are you looking to use the battery to boost the charging of the car or do you want it solely off surplus solar? Do you want to pull any from the grid? And then specifically on this slider, the charge rate. So although this is a 25 kilowatt peak charger, you can scale that anywhere from zero to 100%. This customer's got this set at 50%, 12 and a half kilowatts. That's still a really decent charge. Well, thanks for joining us on this video. I hope this has been informative. If you like, share and subscribe. If you're looking for a SIG Energy battery system or any other system that Springer Solar offer, please reach out. We're happy to help. See you in the next one.